Good morning students. Hope you all are doing well. Stay at home, eat healthy and spare some time watching the school videos. I'm Shweta Tewari, your science teacher from Little Angel High School, Gwalior. Now kids, tell me the place at your house where your mom cooks food for you. Yes, that's kitchen. Now in plants also, there is a part where the food is being prepared and that part is, yes, the leaf. So now we'll be starting our first chapter, leaf, the food factory of plant or kitchen of the plant. Now starting with our first topic, why are leaves green? So leaves are green because they contain a green substance or a pigment called chlorophyll. This green pigment helps the plants to prepare food. But how? They require four things. Water, then nutrients, carbon dioxide and sunlight. Now this process of making food by green leaves of the plants in the presence of sunlight with the help of water, nutrients and carbon dioxide is known as photosynthesis. This covers our second topic that is what is photosynthesis. I repeat the process of making food by the green leaves of the plants in the presence of sunlight with the help of water carbon dioxide and nutrients is called photosynthesis. Now, coming to our third topic that is why are leaves known as the food factory or the kitchen of the plant? So, the answer comes from this only. As the food is made by the green leaves, so green leaves are known as food factory of the plant or kitchen of the plant. Our next topic is the parts of a leaf. As we can see, the green exposed portion of the leaf is known as leaf blade. Then the thick middle portion is known as midrib and the branches arising from the midrib are known as veins. Apart from these, there are small openings on the undersurface of the leaf that are called stomata and these help in exchange of the gases. Do you know students, after preparing food, the plants store extra food in different parts. Like for example, mango tree stores their food in fruits. Pea plant stores their food in seeds. Beetroot and carrot store in their roots. Cauliflower stores in their flower. Sugarcane stores in their stems. And cabbage stores in their leaves. So directly or indirectly every animal including man are dependent on plants. In this chapter we learned about the following topics. First, why are leaves green? Second, what is photosynthesis? Third, why are leaves known as food factory of plant? Fourth, what are the parts of a leaf? And fifth, what are the uses and functions of a leaf? So students, we'll be continuing with the next chapter in the next video. Till then, take care of yourself and keep watching the videos.